Hello everyone. So the subject which we are going to discuss today is the principle of biochemistry. This subject is included in the first semester of the Bachelor of Fisheries Science and uh, this uh, biochemistry deals with the study of substance and chemical process which occurs in the living organism. It also deals with the structure and function of cellular components such as protein, carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic, nucleic acid and other biomolecules and their synthesis and degradation. We will understand this and the today we are going to discuss some introductory part of biochemistry its history of biochemistry and structure and functions of cell and we will also be discussing about some some of the organelles in the cell so let's get started now first of all let us discuss about biochemistry's definition and its basic knowledge so biochemistry it is a branch of science which deals with the chemistry of life and a living process Biochemistry is also defined as a science that concerns with the chemical nature and chemical behavior of living matter. It has also linked biology and chemistry by studying how complex chemical reaction and chemical structure give rise to life and life processes. Now let us discuss about history of biochemistry. So here I have given a table of scientist name Yard and its work. So the first is so the first is Cladding and Schwann. In 1833 he discovered a cell theory. Second is Mendel. In 1866 he di he discovered the study of inheritance. The third is Muller. In 1828, he discovered the orga that organic compound can be synthesized from inorganic compound. Fourth is Louis Pasteur. In the year 1857, he worked on fermentation and shows the importance of enzyme. Fifth is Edward Muchner. In Year 1897, he extracted enzyme from yeast cell in crude form. Sixth is new book. In 1903, he termed the biochemistry. The seventh is Knopf. In the year 1905, he discovered the beta oxidation reaction for fatty acid degradation. Eighth is James Sumner. In the year 1926, he showed the protein nature of enzyme. And the ninth is Emden and Merhoff. In the year 1933, he worked on the glycolysis pathway. Tenth is Krebs. In the year 1930-40, he discovered the Krebs and urea cycle. Eleventh is Lipman. In the year 1940, he discovered the central role of ATP in biological cycle. Twelfth is Watson and Crick. In the year 1953, they discovered the double helix structure of DNA. Thirteen is Kornberg. In the year 1956, he discovered the DNA polymerase. Fourteenth is Frederick Sanger. In the year 1953, he sequenced the protein. Fifteenth is John Singer and Nicholson. In the year 1972, they discovered the fluid mosaic model of membrane structure. Next is again Frederick Sanger. In the year 1977, he discovered the sequencing of nucleic acid. Next is Snell. In the year 1980, he did the development of recombinant DNA. Next 
now let us discuss about structure and function of cell so cell it is usually of two types prokaryotes and eukaryotes so prokaryotes are, are the greek word which means pro means primitive and karyos means nucleus and eukaryotes also greek word in which eu means cool and uh, karyos means nucleus and the example of prokaryotes are bacteria and example of eukaryotes are plant cell and animal cell Uh, in eukaryotes, uh, nucleus is present with well-defined cell membrane, and uh, these cells usually the cell ranges in size from one to hundred micrometer in diameter and have volume a uh, thousand to million times that of the typical prokaryote cell. Now let us discuss about protoplasm. So protoplasm is differentiated into plasma membrane which is also called as cell membrane or plasma lemma and uh, cytoplasm, nucleus and vacuoles. So cytoplasm is uh, distinguished into cytoplasm matrix and uh, endoplasmic reticulum or ER and uh, cytomatrix is also called as hypoplasma. So cytoplasmic matrix is also called as hyaloplasma and they are in continuous motion and uh, this is also this phenomena is also called as cyclosis. So cytoplasma uh, colloid it is a colloidal system in two states that is in soul and in gel. And the gel form are usually occurs near the cell membrane and uh, that is also called as ectoplast. And the same is in a soul also and it is also called endoplast. Now the second one is organelles. So organelles are specialized unit within a cell that has a specific function and usually separated and enclosed in its own membrane. But in prokaryotes there are few organelles such as ribosome and they are without membrane and and in eukaryotes there is a well defined membrane and uh, for example plant cell and animal cell but in plant cell chloroplast is present which is not present in animal cell Now let us discuss about cytoplasm. So the cytoplasm is a part of cell that is enclosed within the cell and in the cell of prokaryotic organism which like the nucleus the content are within this cytoplasm and in eukaryotes the content of the cell nucleus are separated from the cytoplasm. So here in this diagram you can see that uh, uh, the outer the, this is the cytoplasm. And in the cytoplasm, all organelles are there in, inside it, but uh, the but they are divided or they are uh, uh, distinguished by their cell membrane. And uh, this is a nucleus. And in this nucleus, uh, the inside inside it is a uh, nucleoplasm. So the cytoplasm contains organelles which are filled with liquid and that is kept separated from rest of the cytoplasm by biological membrane and uh, this is the outer mem membrane and uh, its cytoplasm is a most uh, cellular activities occur. Cytoplasm is a site where most cellular activity occurs such as the metabolic pathway including glycocalyx and processes such as cell division. So, the inner granular mass which you can see in this, it is also called as endoplasm. And the outer cleary and greasy layer is also called as ectoplasm. 
Also, in this outer side, you can see there is a there is a layer or a cytoplasm in which no organelles are held, and it is also called as cytosol. So, the main difference between cytosol and cytoplasm is that the cytoplasm cytosol is a fluid present in the cell membrane, and cytoplasm is cell component present inside the cell membrane that is it for today see you in the next video thank you